to the Mosh. Last time we answered questions sent to our My Music counterparts, but in this episode, we'll be answering questions you asked us specifically. This is going to be the last episode of the Mosh for a little while, but hopefully not for too long. A lot of you are asking about a season two. We're all eager to get back to work and start making more episodes, and the best way to get that to happen soon is by showing as much support for the show as possible. Leaving comments and thumbs up is a great way to show your support. So is interacting on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. The staff will continue to post updates in character over the break. But more than anything, the best thing you can do is share the My Music experience with others. Chris says, the best thing you can do is share the My Music experience with others. Tanya, you know you don't have to repeat everything I say anymore. I know, but that was worth repeating. Agreed. I will say it too. The best thing that you can do is share the My Music experience with others. Do it. Last week we asked, which Mosh segment is your favorite? Fan mail? Call Me Maybe, Cover Artist, Fan Art, Spotify Schmodify, or 20 Questions. We tallied the scores from the My Music Facebook page, and you picked 20 Questions. Yes! Have an idea for a new Mosh segment? Leave it in the comments. We're always looking for ways to improve the show in the future. Today's Spotify Schmodify is a playlist made specifically for you guys by us. Each cast member selected a song, and we hope you enjoy it. My favorite song would be A Change Is Gonna Come by Sam Cooke. It's just very soulful. I chose Rihanna's song Diamonds in the Sky because I wanted everyone to treat me like my idol counterpart with pure, unadulterated hate. I picked the song It's a Wonderful Lie by Common Rotation because I'm a big, big fan. Semi Charmed Life by Third Eye Blind is a song I chose because it's my all time favorite song and it's my go to karaoke song. I picked Werewolf by Fiona Apple off her latest album. I made it 40 seconds into that song before I started bawling. First time I heard it. Good song. I chose Cannonball by Damien Rice because I love the poetic lyrics. I chose Tom Petty's Mary Jane's Last Dance. I chose It's My Life by John Bon Jovi. We want to thank all of you for the hard work you put into sending us so many awesome pictures over the season. Narrowing it down was not an easy task. Time for 20 questions. This time, we're answering questions sent directly to us about our experiences working on my music. Grace, would you ever consider trying out for American Idol? No. Uh-uh. Quick and short, say one thing you learned while making this show. YouTube's a thing. Do you hate Smurfs in real life? Eh, they're kind of creepy and cute at the same time. How do you feel when you get spat with water? Moist. Is your dialogue improvised? No, the noises are, but I get my lines from Tanya's translation. And I get my lines from all the writers who are awesome and amazing and good looking. The best. Did you really have to change how you acted to play in turn two? No, not really. Can you do a side by side comparison of your voice and character and in real life? No! Why would you even ask something like that? No, absolutely not. Grace, why don't you dress like your character in real life? Because I like to keep all the sheep and all the cows in the barn. Adam, are you really a hipster like Indy? No. Yeah. No. Is it hard to transform from yourself to scene in like acting like a hyperactive intern? Nope, not really. I love you guys! See, it just kind of comes naturally. <laughs> How did you come up with Metal's voice? Basically mixing Macho Man Randy Savage with how James Hetfield sounds when he's singing. Did you get mad when people said shut up in turn two? No, because I'm just acting, I'm playing a part, so it never really got to me so much. That's just how it really- Shut up, Jack. Yes, sir. Grace, how does it feel to show off your vocal chops all the time? Feels like you set a lion free. You know, they've been caged up in me for so long, and it finally got to get out into the world and attack a zebra. And that's kind of what it sounded like. What kind of music are you all really into? Hip-hop. I, I really enjoy hip-hop, especially old-school hip-hop. Adam, if you were not indie, who would you be? I believe I would be some kind of Muppet. When did you all learn about this project? Which part did you want to play at first? I learned about this project in December 2011, and at first I really wanted to be dubstep. <laughs> what was your favorite outfit you had to wear for the show? I would have to say my pee pants. They were the most comfortable jeans. Where did you learn to beatbox? Long hours annoying my sister. Oh, hi sister. How did you do Metal's hair? I did not do Metal's hair. A large staff of other people over a long period of time did Metal's hair. 
What was it like kissing your friend, Metal? There's actually a whole behind the scenes featurette dedicated just to that kiss and you'll get all the juicy details. Oh, poor choice of words, Jack. Congratulations to the Mega Cookie Lord. You just got the very last shirt we're giving away this season. On behalf of the cast and crew of My Music, we'd like to thank the thousands of fans who submitted to the show over the past year. That's it for the mosh. For now. It has been a pleasure hosting this show for the past year, and I'm really, really going to miss you. But be sure to stay tuned every Sunday to check out all the awesome behind-the-scenes content to see how we created the My Music experience. And of course, as always, thank you so much for watching. Say it with us. The Mosh!